Turnable kick. Lukes has got it at the five yard line. Here he comes right up the seam, bounces off a tackle. And gets it across the 25 to send one in motion. Lukes is in the backfield. And it will be Marion Lukes trying to find some leverage on the outside, and he does. Good run on the first. For Tyson Davis, by the way, for the first half, sitting out of suspension for a scuffle that he was involved in at the end of that Northern Illinois game. Now the first. Western likes to bring the pressure. Here comes Bauer in trouble, and he is going to be sacked inside the punting formation here for Central as they go out on their first attempt. Stefan Bracey from inside the 15 is going to be the starting role. Jalen Buckley lines up in the pistol, and now we get our first penalty flag. They're tied for the most penalties in the MAC. And on first down and 15, not much. Right up the middle. Good run stop there by Jacquez. The Mac in total offense who plays this season. But when you're behind the sticks, it's going to be hard to get into tempo. Play action. This is Wolf loading up, going and a ton. Wolf again. Has a man this time, and he's on target to Blake Bosma, the tight end. And that's up to midfield. Blake. 75, two of the most experienced offensive alignment. They're both leaders up front. So now second and 10 after the penalty. So getting Kenneth Womack involved is what we expected. Womack leading the Mac in catches per game. In the country in fourth down attempts, this would be their 31st try on fourth down. They are not shy. Nine oh five to go opening quarter. Bauer being pressured dumps it off short. It is caught. 100 last week against Northern Illinois. Standing tall rips it downfield way overthrown. And that's going to be incomplete. I tell you what and Pruitt got it. Western Michigan. Second down and 10. Bauer on the screen. It's complete. Christian Brown, the fullback, comes in, number 36. As Wimberly goes in motion into the slot. There is. And again, up front, that, that defensive line of Western Michigan does a nice job of holding the line of scrimmage, getting off. In under four minutes for Western Michigan on their first possession, they're going to start. Deep inside their own territory. First down and 10 from the seven. Jay Waters again, a little advice, but uh, yeah, very happy for the cautious. Let's see what he dials up here. It's going to be a first down play. Out to the 23. Down, they did it right there. Second down and two. Back to Buckley, and that's what he can do. There wasn't much of a hole there, but he exploited. Remaining here in the first quarter. Stiff arm there by Buckley, but that time nowhere to go. CJ Hester, number three. True freshman who's close to 200 pounds on the hoof. First down for Hayden Wolf. He's been very accurate tonight. Single cover. And sent Bosma in motion. And now a delay of game penalty here. Western Michigan. Play game. That normally goes tempo. That's your third penalty tonight. That's part of the reason they haven't been able to, you know, kick it into high gear. You yet. know what? They had the two on. Now a third down conversion for Northern Illinois last week. Sam Bucci wrapped up and thrown down. It's fourth down. To Ron McKinney. He'll hand off to Lukes. Marion Lukes. Looking for operating room and find some. And that'll give Chippewas Central going with a little tempo. Looks again. This time it's going to be swarmed after a one-yard game. We'll see if that's the final play of the opening. We went out. Three games left in the regular season, including tonight. It's Jesse Pruitt going in motion for the Chippewas. Has not converted on third down yet tonight. 
Bauer getting heated up again, and that pass is incomplete. Flag reigns in at the end. It was intended for... So here, Abdul Salam standing at the 35-yard line of Western Michigan. He is going to let it bounce on him. Hayden Wolf again to the air. And again right on target, Blake Bosma after the grab will roll for nine yards. Second down and one. And now Wolf trying to run for the first down, and Central picked up on that quickly, led by Dakota Cochran and Jonathan Decker. You know... Wolf sets, throws right on the screws. That's Malik Dudon. First time we called his name tonight. Western with tempo again on first down. They get Buckley back involved, and he's going to get it down to the six-yard line. Jones keeps him from going any further. Like the first half of your schedule. Marion Lukes will try to give the Chippewas a spark, but he is banged down after stepping over the 15-yard line. Game from the opening play, and now we get a... Wildcat situation as Marion Lukes is going to take the direct snap. Lukes had a great 46 yard touchdown run last week against Northern Illinois. He's got a great burst. Fakes the handoff now, tries to pick his way right up the middle. Pass on this series. They're going to go to the air now. Bauer being pursued, spinning around. He's in trouble. And has to whip it. First chance to be a part of this rivalry. He was fired up this week talking about it. His quarterback Hayden Wolf dumps it off. McKinney, a creature of the transfer portal. This is his third program. Iowa, South Dakota, and now Central Michigan playing for Rob Aiken. From the goal line. Western three of six on third down. Wolf cocks his arm, fires over the middle. That one is incomplete after being... Bauer on the crossing route underneath. Stephon. Let's get some push from that offensive line. Let's bring in our bigger crew. Let's bring in a fullback and let's go get this first down. This will tell you a lot right here about Central Michigan. Kwiatowski right in his face. He's in pocket presence to step up and throw the ball. Another run, second down. Go to work. He's got 43 catches in the last four plus games now as he and Hayden Wolf have developed a nice little chemistry. So you would want to kick here if you have faith in your kicker, but I think he's just looking to keep that foot on that gas pedal, Lance Taylor. Well, Domsky has struggled from beyond 45 of his. Pruitt goes in motion quickly to the outside. There's some running room for Tyson Davis after the catch. You'll remember Tyson Davis on the plus side of the field. First down and 10 with seven and a half to go in the quarter. Bauer under pressure. And nobody home down the middle of the field. Stephon Brace. Now we'll take a look at the end of this play here. And the call was a hit to the head. So not necessarily late, but just high. And just gave him a little pat on the head. Um, Michigan and they're bowl eligible. They've got to dig out of a 14-point hole. Luke's again. Good patience, and he'll burst inside the 10. Western looking for their first two-game win streak since the end. Third and six, Bauer. Throws, and he's on the money. It is caught inside the five. First down, goal to... About the creativity. This is the first touchdown. You think you're going to get a little tush push. Instead, quick pitch to Marion Lukes on that left side. Then you're going to fake quarterback. Buckley. Just a confident, hard runner. Sets up third down and four. And this is... Really since the midway point of the second quarter, and it's incomplete. You can see Buckley was looking left. The ball came over to the other shoulder. And Wimberley going nowhere. And Central Michigan trying to get qualified for a bowl game with a victory here tonight. Play action pass. Buckley in the backfield with Wolf. 
And it is Buckley, and he will confidently take it ahead for a must-have first down. Yeah. Big. And, and it's, it's made plays. Buckley swings out to the flat. Wolf is hit, and he's going to be sacked. Hit. Two back-to-back. -back. Some more TFLs, and yeah, defense looks good right now for Rob Aiken. Good punt. Carson Foss backing Wimberly off inside the 20. He'll come so third down and two to the running back and churning those legs it is going to be Luke's for a first down with Marion Luke's Penunzio goes in motion play action rolling out to his left by seven points or less and Bauer on third and eight looking downfield nobody home and he's going to be pushed out of bounds well short of the line and he's missed half of his field goal attempts this year including this one moments ago off the upright it would have given central a two score lead yeah he hit it good it just kept moving to the left to the left and doinked it off central had a chance to take a two score lead with that field goal but he's off the left upright players pointing to the ground so he's going to talk to the line judge right now. No matter what the call is on the field, rest assured, replay is going to look up here at the bottom of the screen. Dante Kent for the nickel is going to blitz. Wolf sees that, throws to the blitzing side, knowing he's got one on one on the outside. Hits his receiver. Passes over 200 yards through the air. Needs to convert on third and 15. He is flushed, being chased. Keeps his footing. His experience comes in. He's had a lot of starts in his career, and he knows that. Handoff. And Wes Bristol 